Hey guys, welcome to another YouTube video. Um, I'm going to be doing a pencil tour today because it's really, really hot out and it's super unmotivating to do anything in this heat. It's supposed to be 101 in a couple days and I'm probably going to die, but it's going to be all good because hopefully after next week it's supposed to cool down to about 70s, hopefully. It's supposed to be 101 on Tuesday and I'm not excited, but other than that... Things have been going good. I moved into my space. I'm hoping to get my desk soon within the next two weeks, hopefully. So maybe by then I'll be able to do a workspace tour. So that'll be coming up soon. That'll be really exciting. And yeah, today it's just a pencil um, case tour. This is a pencil case I use. It's a bronze heavy duty one. I got it at Blix about two years ago and it holds a lot. Like... And yeah, it's really great. I've had it for years now. It's bronze on the outside and the zipper lining and the inside of it is purple, as you can see. And um, yeah, I'll just jump right into its contents. So a little like background info about why I have so much in here is because um, I carry around my tan and my normal sketchbook all the time. So I like to have all the stuff that I would necessarily want with me at all times. Um, I have a lot of pens with me. These aren't pens, but I like to have a lot of pens with me because then I can, you know, just kind of <clears throat> grab them when I need them. I keep colored pencils in here though. I'm going to start with those and then just kind of work my way deeper and deeper into it until I just kind of empty the thing. Um, Aha, there you are, you little bugger. Um, sorry, I'm trying to dig out all of it. Like I said, I keep a lot of stuff in here because for a while I was, you know, just kind of bouncing around everywhere and didn't have a set place to have all my stuff, all my art stuff and everything. So I just kind of had it with me, had a lot of the stuff that I used a lot with me all the time. I kept... These, I keep these colored pencils with me all the time. A black one, a white colored pencil for my tan sketchbook, um, a chestnut one for whatever reason, a light peach one, and then a crimson red one for rough sketches and everything. So there's those. And then, whoopsie, um, these are the mechanical pencils that I usually have on me. Um, this one's out of lead at the moment. I don't really remember where I acquired this thing. Um, it's a Twist Erase XP. I don't know if you can see it. I wish it would focus. But yeah, it's a Twist Erase XP. It's 0.5, which is the only light I really like to draw in. 03 is a bit thin for my taste, but this is my pencil bay. Um, it is fantastic. I've <clears throat> It's a little clicker one. And the top comes off really easy, even if I use all the eraser, like so. I've had this pencil for years. I've had this pencil since I was a sophomore in high school, so I've had it for about four or five years now, maybe even six. Um, it's been a while. And then, whoopsie, whoopsie. Wrapping stuff, my bad. Um, moving on, here are the two little, like, thinner erasers that I use. They're both mono erasers. Let me readjust my seat. Um, I'm at the desk, or I'm not at a desk right now, I'm at the counter at my kitchen, so sitting is a little difficult, but yeah, they're both mono erasers. Um, this one's a little wore off, I don't know if you can even see it anymore. But yeah, there's that one, and it's like a standard size click eraser. And then there's this little itty bitty mono zero eraser, which is super teeny tiny. Um, it's really good for little detail erasing that I have to do every now and again. And then, what else is in here that I can grab a bunch of? Um, microns. Microns everywhere. I recently bought a bunch of microns to just kind of, for nostalgic, for nostalgia's sake, and, um, for nostalgia's sake, I'm so sorry. Um, can't really talk today. Um, I have a bunch of microns. I have a brush set and then a bunch of like black ones. I'm just going to dig them all out. So 
I don't have to dig out any more. That's all of them. Okay. Um, yeah, these are all the microns that I have, roughly. I have a lot the pink multi-liners, which have been really fun to use. And then I have a lot of the brush pens. I don't have the brush pen in pink, though, which is unfortunate. But I will come across one, hopefully, I'm sure. But these are all the microns that I have. As you can see, they're mostly brush pens. And then... Um, some like standard black ones. I have more somewhere, but I don't know where they are. Um, my favorite ones probably are the black and the purple ones so far. Um, and I haven't really had an opportunity to try any others out yet. Um, let's see here. I got more erasers. They are both high polymer erasers. Um, Pretty standard. You can buy them at most Freddy's or Walmart or Target or wherever. This one came with a mechanical pencil that I lost, but um, it's probably the one that I've had for the longest. It's got paint on it and all kinds of other stuff like that. And then also in here, I have these little guys. Um, I think that's all of them. Yeah, it is. Nope, nope, one more. I have these. I mentioned these in my sketchbook tour. They're the Zig Clean Color Real Brush pens. They're like watercolor pens, basically. They're super nice. I've mostly used the red one, but now that I'm getting other colors, I can finally start to do like other stuff with them. I have a peachy color, a purple pastel pink, the red of course, and my blue one, and let me grab a piece of sketchbook paper to do a little swatch for you. That was good on the first page. Whoopsie. Um, yeah, you've seen me test the red one before. It's a little, it's dying a little bit, but <clears throat> they're super pigmented and they're water soluble, so if I take my watercolor brush pen and like dilute it, it'll soften the colors like it did down here. I tried to blend the pink and the, the skin tone together. Um, they blend together, excuse me, pretty well. And this is a blue one, it's a little darker. The ink is super dark compared to like the color that you that you see on like the this part and everything. That's supposed to be, I guess, a swatch of it, maybe, but yeah, that's not that. That is definitely not that, as you can see. So, <clears throat> it can be a little misleading when you buy these at first, but they're super good for, like, pen sketches and stuff. Here's the purple one. It's pretty dark. And then here's the skin tone one. Like a peachy skin tone, anyway. I need to get some darker skin tone pens. But, as you can see, they blend together really well, like... I really like the way they blend together. It's going to be really fun to get more colors of these and play with them and everything. <clears throat> but yeah, there's that one. Whoop, I keep bumping it. I'm sorry. Um, and then I have in here... Move my sketchbook to the side. It's not the star today. I have some... I have one Helix... I think I might have another one somewhere, but I have this Helix Technical Drawing Pen. This is probably the most durable pen I've ever had, like, or one of. It's the nib, the nib is super, super sturdy, and the ink is super pigmented, and it's water-based but water-resistant, which I really like. Um, and it's Copic-proof, which is a huge plus. I um, Usually if something is watercolor-proof, it is Copic-proof as well, but you can never be too careful. And then I have in here bracelet for whatever reason um and then I have these two pigmented or these two pencils for sketching and color for every now and again um, I'm trying to get better at it but I don't really like to draw with this one it doesn't erase very well the um it's a da -da 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 -da, Stadler non photo blue if it'll focus there we go yeah, it's a Stadler non-photo blue, and 
these pencils just don't erase very well, which is something that I need. I mess up a lot, and I like to erase the lines that I do a lot. And um, same with this one, but this one, it's a watercolor pen. It's a, uh, it's what I used in my last video for sketching. It's the um, Staedtler Aquero, Aqu Aquarable, <laughs> I guess. And yeah, it's a super nice little color pencil. I kind of want to get more colors of these because I really like watercolors and I like colored pencils. So, you know, best of both worlds kind of thing. Um, moving on, I have... Oh, there's the other Helix. The other one was an 05. This is an 03. If it'll focus. Focus, baby. There we go. Yeah, I have a Helix 03, which... Yeah, it's like the other one. Like I said, really nice quality. I love these pens. Um, this is the one that I only have one of left, unfortunately, which is really sad. These are really, really good pens. I have I bought these for Inktober last year, and I just adore them. Um, it's a <clears throat> Rote Ring Tiki Graphic 04 Pigmented Ink. Um, this pen is amazing. I The lines come out really, really thick, even though it's an 04, they come out kind of almost thicker than an 04, especially if you take your time inking, like... I don't know, the lines are super varied depending on how fast you go. I usually use this pen to sign my name because it goes through gouache, like, no problem. Which is something that microns don't really do. And then I have some pens by the same company that made the these little guys. I'm going to try to grab all of them at once. Yep. Here are all my Zig pens. I really like Zig pens too. They're really nice too. Um, I have them in black and sapia. Um, yeah, they're acid-free, ar archival quality, pigment ink. So keep them horizontal, I guess. Um, blah 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 blah. Photo safe. I really like them. I have them. I have two in black, and then the rest in sapia. Um, I really, I don't ink in sapia as much as I should, um, mainly because I use a very cool color dominant palette and colors and everything. So the sapia doesn't really work too well. Like it, it, it works, of course, but. It's not as aesthetically pleasing as either little to no lines or, you know, just anything like that. And finally, I have my two white gel pens. Um, I've been using jelly rolls for as long as I can remember, ever since I discovered them back in, like, God, I don't even know, 2010, 2011. It was really early on in my artwork where I discovered these and just fell in love and... I haven't really gone back. I see a lot of artists also use them. Um, my only complaint is I have to go very slowly at, or it won't come out as a bright white. It'll be more opaque. And then I have this uh, Jill Extreme by V and C and or Y and C, excuse me. And um, same with the other, same with the Sakura pen, except it doesn't even, you know, work. It, I don't. I never use this because I'm just so used to grabbing for this one that it just often goes ignored. But yeah, that, those are the contents of my pencil bag. As you can see, it's empty. It's got this little side pouch in here that I usually keep lead and stuff in, but I'm waiting to get my desk back from the other place until I can do that. And yeah, that's all that I keep carry around with me in this big, big pencil case. I usually have, like, a normal writing pen for, like, signing checks or anything of that sort. Putting something down on a list, writing down a phone number, something like that. But it's by the refrigerator right now because <clears throat> we're making a shopping list. Me and my roommate. But, yeah, that's what I keep in my pencil case. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to have more, like, little fun videos like this coming out. I'm going to, you know, do a little sketchbook tour and stuff too and all that good stuff. It's going to be really fun. And 
me just show you guys the cover of the sketchbook that I'm working on now because it's almost full and I'm going to be doing a tour soon. So you can expect that. There's the sketchbook that I have right now. Do a quick little preview flip through. It's going to be really fun. I'm really excited. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, like for more, <clears throat> and to help support me as an artist and everything. It's been great being back on YouTube. It feels so productive to actually be doing something with my time and efforts and everything. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!